And then have two smashy smashy. <laughs> yeah. I still I still remember watch. Do you, I mean I do like the movie, but Watchmen. Um, I I do, I do remember. I I went to see that film with. I uh, yeah, I went to see that what that movie with my um with at the time he was what he would have been twelve my brother, and uh, and my dad, and there's that whole scene. Um, I, I mean, I don't even remember it being in the comic book. The 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 the, the love scene. They don't. No, it's it's not there. It's not. Well, it is, but it's only like three panels. Right. Yeah, you know, and, it, and like the whole thing screen. goes on for a long like, time can, in the movie. I can explain. <laughs> I can explain why. Okay, so okay. and I've had this discussion quite a few times right, with Watchmen uh, when Alan Moore uh, wrote it and David Gibbons drew it. They were taking what comic books were known for and they were bringing it to another level. They were amping up everything to the extreme in the, in that time frame. Mm-hmm. Now, and this is just me in my head. I don't know what Zack Snyder was thinking, but I think he took Watchmen and he's like, okay, so this is what Alan Moore and Dave Gibbons did with the notion of comic books in the form of this media. So I'm going to do the same thing in film, the comic book movies, and I'm going to amp everything up to the extreme. I'm going to take it, push it to that much. That's why he had a lot of gore. That's why he had that sex scene. He had swearing, all that stuff. I think he was emulating the cultural impact that the Watchmen had in comic books to superhero movies. That's just... Uh, I, I. I would go with that if I hadn't seen all the rest of his films. <laughs> but you, if you if you think about it as a standalone thing project, being and it's very faithful to the Watchmen uh, apt- adaptation, except for the big squid creature, you know. I, except for the the character dynamics and the the whole thought process behind it. Yeah, I mean it's it's faithful to the story like panel by panel, but you know. Mm-hmm it's it's made by somebody you guys you know you guys need to stop me because you know i'm going to come up with i'm going to say the same phrase over and over again it's made by people who think for who think rorschach was the coolest guy in watchmen well i have a meme for that too (laughs) (laughs) i I didn't know it's 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 rorschach it's i think i sent it to you sean it's rorschach tyler durden from fight club uh scarf (laughs) yes yes it's basically like you should not be worshiping these guys because you got the wrong message from the film yeah. 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 I, it, and, you know, and these I, guys are all the other meme is is all these guys. Like I Rorschach's my favorite superhero, but I wish his mask wasn't a picture of my parents fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Jay, Jay, oh, I've, I've driven James away <laughs> again. <Yeah>. He's gone. <laughs> He's, I didn't. I was in the comic book shop the other day, and I didn't know that they've actually written a Rorschach, um, a new Rorschach comic book. I think Tom King yeah. wrote it. Uh, apparently, yeah. it's awful. That's, uh, that I was looking because I was looking at reviews up online, thinking, should I buy this thing? Uh, and I think uh, I do wonder whether there's an element of that. But the DC was like, oh, people actually think this guy's really cool, so let's oh, let's make his own standalone comic book. They're milking that franchise to death. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they were yeah, they, they were really left are. alone for a lot of years, and now it's like free. Now it's like free reign. Uh, oh, and that, that's actually something about the the series. You can thank Jim that Lee I really for that. love. Yeah. yeah, that's that's one thing. One one thing about the series that I loved is that they actually kind of that they really did lean on that fact that Rorschach was not the guy that you should be uh, right. rooting for. Right, because they made the white nationalists wear the, they were the ones wearing the Rorschach masks. Yeah, that's what Matt's saying sh- in the in the chat. Yeah, yeah, Matt. Yeah, Matt saying that, and uh, I completely agree with you, Matt. That was a very that show. The more I think about that show, the better it gets. I, I really, got I the, love that show. I, 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 really, I yeah. adore. I've, yeah, I'd watched every episode it was on. I watched it three times that week. And then I bought the DVD and watched it three times more. It's uh, what's great about it is is what you're saying is like yeah, Warshock's not the guy we should have been cheering for. And by the way, the people you should be cheering for in this show are kind of (laughs) sad. Yeah, yeah, you know, and they are the Jeremy Iron. Jeremy Irons is fucking brilliant. He's so good, so good. It's. I mean, I love. Da- I love Damon Lindelof. I think that's the best thing he's yeah. ever done. Uh, and if he's just left alone and doesn't work with the with JJ Abrams, he actually <laughs> gets some of the best stuff out of him. 
And that that was incredible. And I love the fact that he was like, "I'm not doing a season two. It's a one story thing. That's it. It's done." Well, he al- he also really said, "Everybody done. everybody gets mad at my show after the first season, so I'm only going to do <laughs> yeah. the first season." <laughs> yeah, exactly. That way, he doesn't exactly. have to worry about the ending like Lost. <laughs> 